Throughout her career, our next guest skipped one of the top curling teams in Canada, beginning her career at the age of eight. Eight! This Grand Prairie native capped off her achievements, winning a silver medal at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Now retired, please welcome Cheryl Bernard. Cheryl, good morning. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, Cheryl's here, Kate, yeah. showing off her guns. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at this young lady. I can't believe you're not retired. I am. You're done. I'm retired from the game. Yeah, it was time. It was time, and I'm good with it. I panicked a little bit right yeah. after I decided to retire. But you know what? I haven't missed the travel and the, and all the stuff that goes with it. I have missed the competition. I miss mm. that a lot, and I miss the people. But I don't miss all the travel and packing my bags and unpacking every weekend. That was getting tiring. Well, you want to keep some memories. Give me your arm here for a second here. No, 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 no. I was going to show this off. Of course, there is, look at this. this. This is your one and only tattoo that you have, and this hurt like the dickens. It did. I was thinking maybe two rings was enough, but they wouldn't allow it. <laughs> so we had to do five. Cheryl, as far as we know, the Olympics go with a little bit more than just two rings. <laughs> Calling up the Olympic committee. <laughs> Can you change it? Can we tattoo? do just two? Yeah. Yeah. Kate has a funny story about meeting you for the first time. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I didn't know who you were because we didn't see each other face to face, but we ended up sitting next to each other. And you said your name was Cheryl, and I thought, oh, hi, nice. Cheryl. I'm Kate. And then I noticed the Olympic rings on your uh, forearm, and I was like, Olympic curler Cheryl Bernard? <laughs> but then I didn't want to ask because I was like, I don't know. You were just but, then we, but it was a fun day. That was at the Shaw Charity Golf uh, Tournament. Mm. It was. It was a great mm -hmm. day, and it was awesome to And meet. then I asked you to join our curling team, and... You Did I no. say no? We're still looking for a fourth, if you know. She's not if bad. If you change your mind, I she know. said I'm not doing fun curling. I've decided I can't. <laughs> yeah. So you're 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 done with curling. I, you know, I am. I've I decided that I was going to focus on some other things. Uh, I'm going to try to get better at golf. That's one of the biggest mm -hmm. things for me. And I'm working with a lot of different charities and yeah. trying to do something good with the medal. And and it's time and curling. I I just need to put it away for a while. Maybe I'll go back to it at a different level, mm -hmm. but not right now. Mm -hmm. Who'd have thought at the age of eight when you started? In curling that it would take you to where it is today uh, to where you took it to it's uh, it's amazing how the sport of curling has grown by leaps and bounds and no doubt because of the successes that you've had with your teams but also the successes that the men have had with their teams as well too Canada is a powerhouse in curling, who would have thunk it? No, I know. It's it's one of those sports that I think people can watch it on TV, they can listen to what we're mm -hmm. saying, they can get into the game, they can understand it, they can go out and even try it on Sunday afternoon. Mm. And I think that's kind of the pull that we get for so many people loving to watch the game. Yeah, yeah. The, the Briar this year, by the, well, by the way, is being held here in Calgary. Yes, I can't wait. This is exciting. So are you gonna, do, I bet you're like a little celebrity. I bet you she's out there going, hello everybody. <laughs> Here comes the queen. Oh my goodness, Cheryl. You are, you, your face is so recognizable. I'm sure people have so many questions for you. Pictures galore. Uh, it's fun, you know, it, it's the best thing I think about the Olympics really in the end was that you can walk anywhere and meet some great people, people I would have never had the opportunity to meet. And mm -hmm. you can make a difference. I think that is give a voice yeah, to children, yeah. some things that, you know, the, the rest of it, it comes with the sport. You don't plan that when you're playing, but I love, uh, I love that I've met so many people through the sport. It's been the best thing. Yeah, looking back at some of these pictures as well, too, I mean, warm, fond memories to think about how long it took to get to this point and, and the successes that you have had as well, too. It's no doubt you are one of these superstars here in Calgary, and we just love it, the fact that you're here today. Ah, there's so many here. I think there's so many athletes that I go to events, and I'm like the groupie following them, and yeah. we're all, we all just respect how much work and time it went in to, to get where we wanted to get to. And what was the moment like? when you were holding your medal. What, uh, what, what was that feeling? I know it's probably hard to put into words. It but. is. I think, you know, we saw more than just that medal at that moment. I think we just saw years of work. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we saw each other and what we'd uh, given up to, to stand on that mm -hmm. podium. I think we saw our coach and our families and all the time that they had given us. It, we just saw so much more than just that shiny piece of silver. So it was a pretty, pretty emotional time. Mm -hmm. the, state, the, the state of curling today here in Canada. It's changing. It's. Um, oh, so. I, I think it's starting to pyramid a bit. Where there's going to be an elite level, there's going to be a group of curlers. Well, there already is. They're they're starting to be able to make get close to making a living at the game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that's taking away from people starting to try the game. I think that's actually allowing people to join leagues at the club level. Mm -hmm. Like you heard Sonny there earlier talk about, he's just trying to play the game. They started up yeah. a year ago. I think the Olympics does that, but I think it is starting to separate a bit. And I don't think that's about. Thing. Who should we be watching for? 
Well, women, um, Alberta, Val Sweeting, that team, uh, I've not been impressed with somebody like that in a long time. I think she's got what it takes to be a great skip. And men, Mike McEwen, yeah. I, I'm so impressed with their team. They're one of the teams that stuck together and didn't make any changes. Mm -hmm. And, and Cooey, Kevin Cooey. Of from, course. I mean, I love those guys. They've got a great team. They'll take a little bit to gel, and they'll be there at the Briar, I hope. And when, and when Cheryl call, calls and has some advice, <laughs> they'll listen. Pick up. <laughs> um, you can find out more about Cheryl and what she's all about as well, too. Her Twitter address is at Team Bernard and also www.cherylbernard.com. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming in Thank and you. showing off your tattoos. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening in and around our city. Yes, how about the Front Row Productions as they've released, uh, pleased to present the 9 to 5, the musical, based on the movie 9 to 5, created by Dolly Parton. If you would like more information about this, there's the website, www.frontrowcenter.ca. This is Trending on Shaw.